Hey guys, welcome back. I hope everybody's well. I actually have a little bit of a cold, so I apologize if I sound a little bit stuffy. Um, yeah, but this reading is going to be for divine soulmate connections, could be twin soul, twin flames, where there is a karmic element involved. I'm doing the reading as if it is the divine masculine who is involved in a third party situation, all right, a romantic partner. It doesn't have to be that, just take the messages as they make sense for you. And do keep in mind that it is general, so it can't get too specific and it's not going to be everybody's situation either. If you want a personal reading, all that information is in the description box. And I thank you guys so much, so much for all your lovely comments um, on my previous videos, the personal readings, um, the tips, just everything, donations. It's really been so helpful for me during this time period. Um, so yeah, I think that's about that's about it. Um, also, um, I might not look too much into the Divine Feminine's energy this time around. I feel like we do get some really deep messages sometimes in the um, general Divine Masculine, Divine Feminine videos. So you might want to check the previous one out if you want to get some messages that are more addressed towards the towards the feminine about the feminine. All right, and how to handle certain things within this situation um, concerning your masculine. All right, so let's see. What is going on with the masculines currently? Especially as it pertains to their karmic situation. Let's see. Okay, we have walking away. So, whatever group this is that I'm tapping into, there is this sense of the masculine walking away. It doesn't necessarily mean that it is happening in the physical, like, overnight. But this masculine is walking away from the karmic situation. Let's see what else we get. All right. Surrender. And that's so interesting that we get the surrender card because that's what I was thinking um, and picking up on before starting this reading when I was just meditating a little bit. With the um, full moon in Pisces, it's all about surrendering to the universe, all about allowing the universe to take control and to um, guide the circumstances. So basically what's happening here is that there is this push from the universe for the masculines to walk away from the karmic situation and there is a surrendering to that, like knowing that there is no more fighting against that, they just cannot fight against it. So even if they're still in that situation, it's like um, giving up the resistance. That's what the surrender card is about. No more resistance to the walking away, knowing that that's pretty much it, like that's just what's going to have to happen. So let's um, let's get into the tarot here. Actually, I actually want to pull the oracle cards um, for their energy towards their feminine, and then we'll get into the tarot for each. That's what we'll do. All right. So the masculine's energy towards their divine feminine. And we have man holding a heart. Okay, what group is this? <laughs> wow, all right, let's see what else we get here because <clears throat> again, it might not feel this way. It might not feel this way exactly, but if you are going to resonate with this reading, I feel that you will at least be able to be picking up on the emotions, on the love, and um, on the feelings that this masculine has for you, okay? So regardless of whether you are or not in contact. And again, this is like, I've been saying this reading after reading after reading lately that the masculines in the collective overall just seem to be feeling their feminines more and more and allowing those emotions to surface, like not being in denial about how they feel. So this is in line with that. So that's continuing on. So let's see what else.
All right, we got uh, three actually fell out, but I actually feel like it was the one on the bottom, the one when I flipped them over that I could see, which is communication. I will take a look at the other two because I know some of you want me to pretty much pick up any card that drops out. It's um, abandoned and destruction. So I'm mostly going to give emphasis to this communication here. All right, so the masculine is definitely wanting to communicate um, how they are feeling, some emotions, possibly things that they have been suppressing. For some of you, you may actually be in contact. You might um, feel like your masculine is opening up a little bit more emotionally um, in their communication with you. For others of you, if you're not in contact, you might be feeling that in the 5D. It's really going to depend even within dreams, okay, is what I'm getting here. Um, either way, if this, if you're not feeling this that much, okay, then this could be that the masculine is actually wanting to communicate something that they're feeling, all right? And for a lot of you, this could even be an apology. So um, taking into consideration abandoned and destruction, the way that this is coming in for me is that that feeling, that essence of um, being abandoned. Um, whether it is the masculine having abandoned the feminine or whether the feminine might have walked away from the situation, it's this abandonment issue that's that's being destroyed, that's coming to an end. It's kind of like the, it's time for this abandonment to be um, demolished. And for a lot of you, this could even have to do with um, childhood wounds concerning abandonment. Okay, so take that as it resonates. Um, and also... This could even be communication about feeling abandoned. So maybe for some of you, you've had some communication with your masculine or are going to have communication with your masculine when it comes to how you feel about um, being either rejected, feeling abandoned because the masculine has not been there for you and how this, how destructive that has been to your connection, okay? So I feel like there's going to be some opening up about that or maybe there already has been. So... Let's get into the tarot um, for the masculines and the karmic situation. So let's see what's going on there. Okay, so we have the Hierophant in reverse, the Seven of Swords in reverse, and the Nine of Swords. All right, I am going to clarify some of these, um, but there's there's a lot of there's been a lot of sneaking, um, either sneaky behavior, sneaky attitude, um, some dishonesty here. Okay, um, between the masculine and the the karmic partner or the karmic situation, and I feel like a lot of this is even about the um, masculine just really avoiding avoiding just being avoidant of the situation of the connection and that's because this this commitment is feeling like it's done pretty much and this is causing a lot of anxiety so i feel like for this group of masculines that i'm tapping into here they feel like this connection is over right like it's like a cycle is complete like whatever there was to be learned was learned as lessons in this connection with the karmic partner and even though it's done right there's still this there's still this sneakiness about it there's still this avoiding the situation a little bit and this is what is creating a lot of stress and a lot of anxiety and I feel like actually that is what is leading them to that surrender and to understanding well you know what this is this is so over that there is no other option really other than to walk away So let's see what else. What's coming through here is it's almost like they're both kind of like avoiding each other. I feel like they're both, um, they've both been avoiding confronting the situation. Two of Cups in reverse, the Seven of Cups, and Death in reverse. They've both been avoiding, almost like avoiding the elephant in the room, the fact that this is just done, like it's not, 
it's not, not only is it not what it used to be, like there's just no connection. And I'm also getting that for some of them, I will clarify, um, for some of them this is also the, the breaking down of cultural beliefs, not not being so interested anymore in following traditions, okay, that's going to be just specific for those of them who might be married or for those of them who might um, be a little bit too concerned with social status. I feel like that is actually um, coming to, to a close as well. And for others of them, if it, if it was a, a more platonic um, or superficial connection, they're feeling like this is shallow. They're beginning to understand that this is shallow, but still kind of avoiding it. But that avoidance is causing stress. So clarifying the Hierophant in reverse, we have the Seven of Swords in reverse again, which was the card right next to it, as well as the Ten of Wands. Yeah, so I feel like this masculine has also been avoiding, trying to avoid a lot of the responsibilities. Um, and that's another thing that has been leading to stress because they know that they, they're not even giving to this connection in the way that they should. So whatever, you know, responsibilities or whatever is expected of them or whatever they even expect of their own self to be able to give to this, they're just not able to do it. It's like they're finding themselves not able to fulfill those responsibilities. And for that reason, again, it's leading to them having a lot of stress. Just even, it just feels off knowing that it's this Hierophant in reverse, like it's just, it's not feeling it, no no connection, not feeling the commitment, it's like being there physically, yeah, but not really feeling the commitment. And like I said, I feel like they've both been kind of avoiding talking about it. So let's see, down here we have the two of the Two of Cups in Reverse, the Seven of Cups, and Death in Reverse. So again, it's that lack of love. Knowing that something is missing here. There's still a little bit of confusion when it comes to how to fully bring this to an end. So let me clarify the Seven of Cups. Four of Cups and the Eight of Swords. So the masculine um, is, yeah, feeling is still feeling a little bit trapped here, but it's like it's almost like it doesn't even really matter because they have no choice but to surrender. I feel like this is even them just um, kind of like giving up. Again, not paying any attention to this um, connection, almost like they're there like a ghost. And it's like living um, the day-to-day -day life. It's like, it's like on autopilot. Again, it feels like there's a lot of um, just ignoring avoiding the situation, avoiding what, what, what's going on between the two of them, but there's like no connection there whatsoever. And it's almost like living in an illusion. Um, I almost feel like it's a way um, they, for some of them that they might be distracting themselves with other things. And that's because they feel trapped and not really sure how to really go about bringing this ending. But again, I feel like it doesn't really matter because the message that I'm getting here is that, yes, they will have to take action. Yes, they will have to try. But I feel like that is, for this particular group, that is just coming naturally in a way. So let's see death in reverse. And that doesn't mean it's going to be easy. It's just that it's... It's like one step at a time, like the one event brings the next event. The Ace of Cups in reverse. 
So here's the thing, the masculine knows that it's done. The masculine, the masculine knows that it's over. And really it's just a matter of allowing that surrender to be like 100%. The masculine knows that there's no love there and that they're just holding on to something that is already dead. So before we get into what is coming up, <clears throat> let's take a look at the masculine's energy towards, towards the feminine. So we have the Emperor in reverse, <clears throat> the Fool, and the Three of Swords. So there's pain here. There's pain here when it comes to the masculine not having taken this action as the Fool. The energy is there. There's a lot of thinking about it. Taking some kind of action towards you. And they're thinking about this even if they have not completely walked away from the karmic situation. But there's a lot of there's a lot of pain. There's a lot of I'm even getting regret with that three of swords. Um, I'm getting that there's chaos in their mind. A lot of chaotic energy because they feel like they don't have a handle on the situation with the feminine. Almost like they feel like the whole situation with the feminine is like this huge risk. Like just not knowing what might happen, not having any control. Like is, is the feminine still going to be there? Is the feminine not going to be there? You know, are we going to be able to work things out? Or will we be able to heal these wounds, this pain? There's a lot of questioning about that. And the reason why is because the masculine, as I've said, is feeling the feminine very strongly, feeling their emotions very strongly. And I feel like this might be something that they want to get off their chest. Let's see what else. All right, justice the lovers, and the Wheel of Fortune in reverse. All right, wow. So first of all, let me just mention that out of the six cards, five of them are major arcana cards, all right? That's, that's pretty significant here, five out of six. And then the one minor arcana is the Three of Swords, representing the pain that the masculine is feeling. Um, <clears throat> definitely feeling like they have wronged you. And wanting to make things right here, right? Justice followed by the lovers. Knowing that things at the moment with the feminine, I feel like, again, they, they feel a little chaotic is what I'm getting with this world. The world of fortune in reverse. Kind of like um, the way it's coming in is the wheel turns in one way and then it turns the other way. There's a lot of, lots of ups and downs when it comes to the connection between the masculine and the feminine. Obviously, if you've been in contact, like this is going to be more apparent to you. If you're not in contact, um, then you might feel it on an energetic level. Or maybe you're feeling this way also. Um, like this back and forth or around and around. Almost like... Almost like the masculine feeling like they have created this fate or altered your fate. That's the message I just heard. That the masculine feels like they have altered your fate because they have been this emperor in reverse. And so there is this desire now to make things right, to bring justice for this connection. All right, the lovers. So the masculine is definitely feeling a lot of um, pain when it comes to this connection with you. And I'm also getting that the masculine, for those of you who have been together in the past um, romantically, there's a lot of memories here about that connection and feeling like they completely messed it up. 
And so that's why this is all like so risky because they don't know to what extent have they messed this up. So that's what's going on in their minds. Um, let's clarify. Oh, what do I want to clarify? I want to just clarify that top row. All right, we have the Seven of Wands and the Sun in Reverse. All right, so, and I feel like this is mostly for the Three of Swords, but again, it's for the whole row. Um, so yeah, so there's a blocking out. The masculine has been blocking out their happiness here, right, with the Sun being in Reverse. Um, they feel like they have ruined, basically, the innocence of this connection with you, the sweetness of it, because they had been so resistant on many levels, not just with the karmic partner, just on many levels. And this is creating them um, pain now because they're thinking about that. So there's a lot of um, thinking about the past here, thinking about what it is that they have done. And on the one hand though, yes, right? That's, that's self-awareness and that's also, you know, um, doing soul searching and being able to confront one's own shadows. But at the same time, these things were meant to happen. These were obstacles that the masculine is meant to overcome. Let's see this bottom row, especially that Wheel of Fortune. So we have the Six of Swords in reverse and the Fool. Fool showing up again. So again, even in the clarifiers, we have um, a major arcana card showing up for each combination here. Yeah, they feel like because they didn't take a risk for you and that they have not been able, there was fear. There was a fear of the unknown with you that because of that reason, right, they have not been able to move to um, this connection to where it needs to be. Um, that it almost like this connection has been um, stigmatized by pain, by injustice. So let's see what is coming up. What, what is this leading to? So the masculine towards the karmic situation. Alright. Ooh, alright, we have the Ten of Wands in reverse um, showing up now, right? We had it upright before, talking about that those responsibilities and wanting to avoid those responsibilities, possibly still feeling maybe a sense of responsibility, but just not really being able to provide, they're releasing that burden. And this is also releasing that burden because we also have the Seven of Swords twice here in reverse, right? Surrounding this Ten of Wands. This is releasing that burden of being sneaky, of not being honest about how they feel or about what they want to do, um, sneaking away from the situation. That is what has been causing them stress. That is what they are going to release coming up in the next couple weeks. Let's see if we get anything else here because that was kind of short. Are there any other messages coming up? Masculines with their karmic situation. Oh, we have justice showing up again. The Four of Swords in reverse and the Ten of Swords. Okay, so justice on both sides, all right? That is that is absolutely beautiful. Of course. Um, justice can, if it's more specific, it can be referring to legal matters, all right? So for some of you, this could definitely um, be divorce. But whatever the case is, is things coming into balance in the way that they should for whatever it is that has not been healed, all right? Surrounding this ending. I feel like this Four of Swords in reverse, it's kind of like not allowing this to be put to rest. This Four of Swords 
would represent a lack of surrender. Um, but what we're seeing here is that there is being a balance that is being brought to the table here concerning an ending that, yeah, could be painful, could be really difficult. An ending that there was a lot of resistance, a not surrendering to it. This is what is being released. That resistance. Which is ultimately leading to this ending. So let's see for the feminines. Have the King of Cups, the Four of Cups, and Judgment. I'm telling you, those feelings, those feelings are just getting stronger and stronger, resurfacing, because I feel like these feelings, they were there before. Um, there was a time period where they were in just resisting the feelings, possibly in denial as well. These feelings are coming back up, and there's a lot of discontentment when it comes to how they have expressed these or just how the situation is. And that's why we have judgment here because they are able to have a major revelation even deeper than before concerning their emotions towards you. And this is what is causing them to fully be able to make that discernment about how unhappy they are rather than living in autopilot because that's what I was getting here. They were living in autopilot. And now there's clarity, clarity surrounding that. And it wasn't that autopilot. It possibly was not only for the, um, for the karmic partner here, right? It was being like generalized over to the feminine as well because it just kind of took over. So this is what there is a major um, revelation or even an epiphany about. Almost like being able to see the difference, making that discernment between these two energies. Feeling that love and how strong these emotions are. And then feeling that essence of settling with the karmic partner. Um, feeling unhappy, bored, ignoring. It's like the two opposites and then judgment, which is making that discernment. So it's not very um, specific here when it comes to actions towards the, towards the feminine, all right? But this is more of a major realization, which can also lead them to um, have like this rebirth, like almost like you might even sense this in your masculine if you are in contact, that they just feel different, that they're feeling warmer, that they're feeling, which we also got in the previous reading, um, that they're feeling more more loving and that you can feel that love vibrating out of them towards you. I feel like this is what this is leading up to, all right, coming up in the next couple of weeks. So, um, so yeah, you know what, I'm actually going to leave it there. I know I usually do get some messages for the feminines. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to get some oracle cards. <clears throat> And yeah, let's see. The message for the feminines here. We have the thinking man. Okay, so what I'm getting with this is that maybe for some of you, you have been um, possibly allowing your thoughts to be a little out of control, maybe on certain things, maybe concerning your masculine, maybe concerning other areas. It's all interrelated. So I feel like this is a message for you to. Maybe ground yourself a little bit and and try to think a little bit more rationally rather than allowing your thoughts to completely take over, to go out of control, or you know, to just be in the clouds about certain things in the negative sense. Okay, so just again, just take that if it resonates and as it resonates. Alright, so let's see. We'll just get a couple more oracle cards. All 
All right, and we have mending. So yeah, and if, because um, I do also feel this for a lot of you as well, um, that there may have, if you've been in contact, that there may have been some, some arguments, possibly some miscommunications, things that were just left unsaid, anything of that sort, all right? There's mending that is happening or coming up here, all right, of that, resolving those issues. Mending, this is, to me, this is also about, like, coming together. Coming together and being able to, to fully understand one another, especially with the thinking man next to that. This is also the healing of the pain that has been created. And at the moment, the masculine feeling that pain right, is also, it's like mirroring the pain that the feminine has felt. And so now there is, this is, this connection is moving towards a mending of that. So like a healing of that pain. So let's get one more. All right, and we have the full moon eclipse. Conclusions are within reach. Yeah, so for this group, I'm definitely feeling that, all right? Um, there's still a little way to go here, all right, with this death being in reverse, but other than that, things are moving towards justice, right? We have that on both sides. Um, finishing off here the karmic side with the Ten of Swords, all right? Walking away and surrender. Conclusions are definitely within reach here. And I feel like this conclusions is also concerning your connection with your masculine when it comes to misunderstandings or, you know, any kind of tension that may have been there. And that's happening with this communication, all right, and opening up um, your hearts to each other. All right, guys, I'm going to leave it at that. Please give me a like if this resonated, and thank you so much for watching. Much love.